Is it business or personal? Well, for me, it's definitely both. And I don't really believe that I could build a sustainable business for me if it wasn't some level of personal. Uh, business, it has a lot of things involved in it. And if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you are a maker, it involves a lot of sacrifice, sleepless nights, time away from your family. And I really don't think I could do that for something that I just didn't feel wholly connected with. And I put myself, all of myself into my business, into making the products and even the marketing. Like everything needs to have a feel about it, a feel good, something to feel good about. And that is a big part of what I'm about. And I just don't know that I would have that drive for something that just was business, you know. To me, that sounds cold. <laughs> and I'm about warmth. And so it really, truly was, I've said this before, but I'll say it again, a journey of self-love. I had to really learn to love myself enough so that I wouldn't take it personally. And this is just your normal life, by the way. Let me stop interrupting myself. But <laughs> I, you know, I would get my feelings hurt a little bit, maybe sometimes more than a little bit, depending on who it was, if people did or someone didn't like me. And then I just had to learn that self-love, self-like, self, all that stuff was 10 times greater than other people's opinions of you. And so I really learned how to brush that stuff off. It may bother me a smidge here and there, but overall, I just remind myself who I am and how much I love me because I'm great. Like everyone should feel that way. <laughs> and so that is part of my journey is to encourage everyone to feel that way. And I don't see how I could push that if it wasn't personal for me. So I also had to take that mindset into my business because I would get my feelings hurt over that too. Oh, people didn't like this product. People just don't like my business. People, you know, they struggle with my business thing. I, I mention that a lot because boy, I've gotten some interesting commentary, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Now I just laugh at it because I'm like, that was far-fetched. But anyway, my point is um, that I still feel that same personal investment with my business. I still feel that same personal connection. I don't know that I could be the face of my business if I didn't feel that. But I did have to learn to not have thin skin, to not take everything personal, to know that I'm definitely not for everyone. I know this, trust me. But that means so is my business is not for everyone either. And that's perfectly okay. My business speaks to who it speaks to, and those are my people. And it's okay that everyone is not my people. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Um, so learning to accept myself and learning to accept situations has really helped me become a better all-around person and business owner. So anyway, that's that for now. And uh, I'll see you later.